Welcome to Grade 8 Theory, Quarter 1, Lesson 4. Our topic for today is Graphic Design Software. Introduction to Graphics Design Adobe Photoshop, a powerful raster graphics editor developed by Adobe Incorporation, it is widely used by graphic designers, photographers, and digital artists for various purposes such as photo editing, image manipulation, graphic design, digital painting, and much more. Basic functions of Adobe Photoshop. First, layers, image adjustments, masking and compositing, color management, exporting and saving, integration with Adobe Creative Cloud. Setting up a document. First, this is the home screen. To set up a new document, click on the Create New button and a new dialog box will appear. This allows you to choose what type of document you wanted to create, such as photo printed, art and illustration, web, mobile, film, and video. You can also use Go to File, New at the top of the screen, or just simply click Ctrl N or CMD plus N. Whichever you may use, it will open a dialog where you can select the document size you want to use. At the New Document dialog box, select Print Menu to show the different printable size document. Choose the letter size and click Create. For placing and transferring images, these are many options in opening existing file or images in Photoshop. The official way is to click the open button at the home screen and it will show you the Windows Explorer where you can locate the image you want to open. Navigate your image and select it and click open then it will proceed to the Photoshop interface. The faster way in opening an image or design is by drag and drop from Windows Explorer. Location and dropping the image to the Photoshop home screen. If the existing file is already listed at the home screen display, just select and click and it will open at the Photoshop interface. Navigation Interface Photoshop's interface consists of various panels, menus, and toolbars that allow users to access its wide range of tools and functions. Maneuver Always located at the top of the screen, there are 12 menus with many options underneath each. Click on each menu item to view its available options. Grayed out options indicate they are currently unavailable. Photoshop panels. Place on the right side of the screen and like the toolbar. They can be dragged out and moved freely around the workspace. They provide lots of extra functionality. Tools. Move and selections tools. The crop and style tools. Eye dropper and measurement tools. Retouching tools and painting tools, drawing and type tools, navigation tools. Working with images. Basic editing in Photoshop. Correcting. One of the first decisions you must in editing a photo is to see to it that the white balance is in proper tone. To correct any image adjustments, go to image menu, adjustments, select any options like brightness, contrast, levels, curves, and exposure. You may experiment with other options for new saturation, color balance, and compare the actual result. Cropping allows you to crop images to remove unwanted parts or to focus in a specific area. The crop tool enables you to define the area to keep and discard the rest of the images. Resizing and compressions allows you to resize images to specific dimensions or percentages of their original size. You can change image dimensions without changing the aspect ratio by using the image size command. Resolution refers to the number of dots per inch that appear in your image's final form. Per print, these real images be dots on screen. However, these dots are referred to as pixels. Sharpening and softening is the last of the global corrections that are often applied to digital images to enhance clarity and details. 
After sharpening by selecting Filter, Sharpen then select Options for Sharpen and see the screenshot below. Layering One of the important features in Photoshop that you need to understand is usually every element you add in your design should have its own layer. That's the end of our lesson for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe, and hit the bell button.